Hello friends. Once again, this is RJ. And I'm back for another episode of do-it-yourself car improvement. For today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to convert my ignition key to an engine push start stop. So let's go. For this installation, what we will need are, a control module that will substitute the ignition key, and an engine start stop button. To begin, let us dismantle the cover of the steering stem to access the ignition switch and its harness connector. To do this, rotate the steering wheel. You'll see two screws fastening the cover. Unscrew them using a screwdriver. After removing the cover, install the push button on the holes used by the ignition key. To do this, simply fold the four locks at the back to allow it to enter the hole, then position the button accordingly and fasten by bending the locks along the side. In part 1, we have provided the module with temporary 12 VDC power supply. Now that we are going to use its full functionality, let us dismantle the previously attached red and black wires as we will directly connect them in the ignition harness. Now, detach the ignition harness connector plugged at the ignition key located beneath the steering column. This is where we gonna connect the wires of the new module. Now, remove the plastic covering the ignition key. It has clip on both sides for fastening. We will now start to connect the module wires to the ignition harness. I will splice them individually. I prefer splicing as it is more secure and I can immediately switch to manual key in case of emergency by simply plugging back the ignition harness. For now, I will directly splice them based on the diagram, but later, I will demonstrate how can you distinguish each wires. There are 5 wires that you need to connect, the constant 12 VDC, accessory, ignition 1 and 2, and the starter.
As I've mentioned, you can distinguish ignition wires even without diagram. Use a test light to verify. The red wire should have a constant 12V DC even the engine is off. The test light should lit at this point. Now, turn the ignition key to accessory position. The blue wire should now have a positive 12V DC power. Then, turn the key to ON position, the wires white and brown for ignition 1 and 2 respectively should now have a 12V DC power. To see the difference between ignition 1 and 2, start the engine, the ignition 1 flickers or dims less than the ignition 2 when starting. And the last one is the yellow wire for starter, it only has 12 VDC during starting. Now, connect the orange wire from the small harness to the brake positive feedback of the car. It should only have a 12 VDC when the brake is depressed. Use a test light to verify. Now, connect the black wire of the startup harness to ground. And don't forget that in the small harness, blue wire is for oil pump signal, just tap it to ignition 1 to facilitate starting. Splice them and insulate. The last and important step is the vehicle steering wheel lock handling method. Get a key duplicate with the holder cut, leave 1mm extension to allow grip of tool. Turn the key in accessory position, and we're good to go. Now we are ready to try the new engine push start button. To do this, depress the brake and the clutch pedal. The button will lit upon depressing the brake. Then, press the button once and the engine will start. To stop the engine, depress the brake and press the button. Pressing the button alone won't stop the engine. And that's it. We have successfully converted the ignition key to push start. Thank you for watching, please do not forget to like and subscribe.